Hi, my name is Gabriella Gargano and I'm the owner of Grisoro Designs. This is my home in Little Italy and I'm excited to show you around. This home is a triplex featuring three bedrooms and tons of outdoor space, which highlights one of my favorite aspects of the home, which is the beautiful views of Lower Manhattan. As soon as you step off of the elevator, I wanted to create a sense of warmth and coziness. You'll see the living room connects to the dining room and kitchen, which really has a beautiful open floor plan, but at the same time still has a separation of space. One of the ways that I connected the open floor plan was through a series of built-ins. It starts with a fireplace, pantry, wine fridge, and finally bookshelves. One of the main things we like to do at Grisoro Designs is pair vintage pieces with contemporary ones. The vintage chairs have a beautiful curved line and a really textured fabric. To balance that out, we used a really simple, clean line sofa that has a natural linen and gives a sense of casualness and comfort. One of my other favorite pieces in our living room is our vintage Ushak rug. They're made of 100% wool, very durable, and come in a beautiful range of colors and patterns. When we designed the dining room, I wanted to make sure that it felt connected to the living space, but still had its own personality. I love these vintage Danish lights because they have both an industrial and a playful quality to them. We surrounded the dining table with these unusual vintage chairs. They have a curved back and are incredibly comfortable, but still provide a strong design element. The gallery wall really creates an envelope around the dining space, which is warm, inviting, and creates a lot of visual interest and talking points during dinner time. It was important for me that the nursery didn't feel like just a kid's space. I wanted it to have just as amazing pieces as the rest of the home does. The nursery has a mix of vintage and contemporary pieces. The vintage chair and ottoman are two items that we purchased many years ago and actually reupholster them in the same fabric so that they appear as one cohesive piece. Similar to the furnishings, I wanted the art to feel just as spectacular as the rest of the home. These are pieces that I've started collecting for my daughter and I'm really excited to see what she chooses to add over the years. Now let's take a look at the primary bedroom. I wanted this space to be both restful, but also really warm and cozy. In this room, there are a few things that I think are really important for me. One of the first that you'll see is this vintage chair. It has a super unusual shape, beautiful rich wood tones, and we upholstered it in a deeper brown wool fabric. Some of my others are the artwork above our bed, which is dynamic and really adds a sense of place. We decided to skip the door in our closet because it provided a more open feel and allowed the two spaces to feel connected. And also by having a larger closet, the room maintains a clean, tidy, and minimalist feel. A well-designed home should feel beautiful, chic, but also deeply authentic. That's what I hope for all of the client spaces we design and what I want for my own home. Thank you so much for following along and I hope you enjoyed my home tour. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?